A little shaky at the start there. We're going to get this going again in a minute. Lots of adrenaline flowing for these 50s. All right, had a good start, which is always good to see. Looks like Justin Grander got the uh, Cincinnati St. Xavier out to a little early lead here at the wall. Getting his feet over first. You see that under the water. Nice shot by our friends at Waycross. It is tough to put a body length on people in a 50, but he just did it leading off that relay right there, and that is impressive. Split a 20.71 by Justin Grender. Really, really good swims leading off the St. Xavier relays today from the medley relay to this. You see why coaches put him leading off. And Pereira, we saw him on the 200 medley relay and in the 200 IM already today. 20.89 on his split. That 12433 is in trouble, it looks like to me. Yes, especially when he got uh, Charles Lisbon swimming this third leg going in to Grand House, the two time district record breaker today. Getting a clean start, looking good. They don't want to jump heading into the state meet, but wow. The transition looks like we got Moeller battling for that second automatic spot, though, not to be forgotten the battle for the second automatic spot but that team from St. Xavier just swimming by themselves again. Milford's putting some pressure that might be Babinek at the end yes it is Babinek for Milford at the end of their relay trying to get that automatic and they got it. Milford that second automatic qualifying spot nice swim by Babinek to anchor that relay punch their ticket Grand House 20.62 to finish their relay and yep they did it Anything that involves Grand House today seems to result in a district record. St. Xavier did it again. New district meet record of 122.80. Congratulations to them, and also congratulations to the team from Milford with their automatic uh, qualifying. Look at the boys from St. Xavier there. Got to be happy.